Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have my first finale for you guys and this one is for the Pandos eyeshadows. Just a quick recap of what this project was. Um, I've been working on five eyeshadows at a time and I've been trying to hit pan on them. They randomly rolled in and uh, I just worked with what the number generator gave me. So I'm gonna go through the shades that I've been working on over the last month still and then I'm gonna do some stats of like things that have happened over the last month. So if you're interested in like the number side of things, which I always think is kind of interesting, make sure to stay tuned for that as well. Anyway, starting off, first palette that I was working on and has been in this palette for quite some time now is the Naked palette from Earn Decay. I, in here, was working on Gunmetal, which is a shade right here, and I have used this zero times this month. I'm just too focused on some dark shades in my Panette palette and I could not really manage to incorporate this in another way. So this one I haven't touched. I have used this a total of, how many was it, 18 times, which is not too bad, but the amount of progress on it is barely visible, so this was going to be one of those shades that's going to take me quite long to get through, but yeah, that is the way it is. The one that I have actually used quite a bit over the last month is uh, in this other Urban Decay palette, this is a shadow box. As you guys know, in here I've been working on Sin, which is the light shade right here. And this one I've been using as my brow bone highlight for a good few times this month, trying to kind of divide my attention between the shade in my Panda palette and this one. But I'm pretty sure I can finish the shade in my Panda palette, so I felt okay to play with this a little bit more. Well, like play, just use it in, in general. And that one I had used 32 times before, and I have used it another 13 times. So I've used it a total of 45 times. You can very clearly, at least I hope you can see that in the close-up as well, see that there's a dip in here, but at the same time, I think I've still got quite some work to do on this one. I'm using a bigger brush in this one, so once I hit pen, like the whole pen will probably go quite quickly, but uh, yeah, 45 uses in that one. I created a good dip, and uh, we'll see if I make more progress on that one next year. Then one that I have used very little this year, although it has been in here for a couple of months already as well, is a green shade in my LA Colors Enchanted palette. In here I rolled in this guy right here, but I have not used this because it was very close to a shade in my Panda palette and once I kind of went through that full shade last month, I wasn't really feeling like going for this one right after. So. Uh, I have not really used that one a whole lot. I've used it a total of three times. And then that was it, but that's uh, okay. <laughs> I can live with that. There is quite a bit of green shades in there, so if I ever want to pan that palette completely, I know I wanna make sure I've got pan in at least all of them already, but it's gonna take me some time still. Plenty of green shades for me to work on, as you guys know. Next we have this uh, palette right here. This is a sleek circus palette, and in here I'm working on the purple shade. That is this shade right here. And that one I have actually used once this month. I've combined it with a shade in my Vice palette that I'm trying to use a good few times for uh, the Roulette Pan collab. So that made me grab for this one at least one more time. I am noticing that I'm kind of like done with like the full on focusing on that Panda palette and I'm ready to start focusing on some other things. So I'm definitely ready for the new year. It did get me to use this one one more time though. The fact that I want to play a little bit more. And that one, with that one more use, I have used a total of four times. Still not a lot, but I just was too focused on my Panda palette. Over the last couple of months since I rolled that one in and I didn't manage to incorporate that one as easily. But yeah, then I have this one right here, and this one I rolled in last month because I did actually manage to hit pan on another shade a month before this, which I wasn't expecting. And I rolled in the grey shade in this palette. This is the Seasons Must Have from Catrice. And for that one, I didn't use it lows, but I did realize that this was, because it's, it's a matte shade, it's not too dark, 
it worked quite well as kind of a transition shade or like a blending out shade so i've used that a couple of times over the last month in that way which gave me what was it six uses so i've used this one six times and you will see maybe in the close-up that especially kind of like the top corner i have uh, touched a little bit there is some disturbance on there although uh, definitely got some work to do on that one still if i actually want to hit pan but yeah so that is that one those were the five shades that i was still working on and as you can see I did not finish up any additional ones or finish up hit pan on any additional ones but I still managed to at least use a few of them quite regularly even though I'm like almost full focus on my pan palette so I'm, I'm happy with that at least. Now I do have kind of my notebook here with like everything that I've been working on in this project over the last year so let's move on to some stats. So I have been working on a good few shades over the year and I have hit pen in this project on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight shades, which isn't amazing. I think like the ideal would be to have at least pen in like one shade on average per month, but eight is still not bad. It did make me up my pen percentage a fair bit. I was at 11% in the first video that I filmed this year. I wish I would have tracked a little bit more like how many uh, pans I had in total and those types of things. I realized I didn't track that properly so I cannot give you that information. But I, I do know that I was at 11% because I did mention that in my intro <laughs> this year. I know I've hit pan on a few shades but I've also finished off a few shades. I did not do any declutter so it's still like my collection remained pretty static. It's just I finished off some shades especially in my pan of palettes. So that like kind of changed the percentage a little bit downwards again basically because I had less shades in my collection which brought the pen percentage down because I hit pen on them first and then when they were gone there was no pen anymore because it was an empty pen basically. But I started at 11% at the start of the year and right now I'm at 22.2% so that is a huge difference and that was not just this palette but also me working on my pen palette and me hitting pen in like one or two more shades randomly in other projects as well so that is pretty exciting. I have 162 eyeshadows in total in my collection still if I counted correctly and out of those I have pen in 36 so that is what's getting me to that number right now. Pretty excited about that and I'm hoping I can go to at least 30% or higher in the next year so let's see how that's gonna go. I also kind of looked at like the HAs that I have hit pan on, like how long did it actually take me to hit pan on them. Now I counted all the uses up because every time I finished one off, I keep saying that, every time I hit pan on a shade I made sure to like write down how many uses it took me to actually hit pan and sometimes I had already used them a little bit before but still it gives you an okay idea. It took me on average 30.25, so let's say 30 uses to hit pan on these shades and I actually pulled out two shades that like stand out the most to me because one of them took me the longest and one of them took me the shortest in the total. Uh, starting off with my Sleek, the original palette. This was one of my like earlier palettes so I did have a little bit of uses on this shade already but I did in this project hit pan on this pink shade right here and that took me 14 uses so that was definitely my like the least uses needed to hit pan on it I used that mainly as a lid shade and like I really like those shades in here it's a completely like all glitter palette so I don't know if this would be one I would put in as a pen up palette quite easily because I need some mattes to work on as well and oh I'm lying the black in here is a matte but everything else is glitters also the darker shades, so not sure if this would be a pen up palette quite quickly, but I do have pen in four shades on here, so that's kind of nice. So 14 uses on that one. Those shades, they're really nice and pigmented, but also a little bit like softer, so I went through this quite quickly. Then the shade that took me the longest to hit pen on this year, which is nowhere near as bad as the orange I was working on last year, because that took me pretty much 100 uses, if I remember correctly, but um, this creates in here which is also a matte shade it's always a matte that takes the longest this took me 58 uses to hit pan on i use that as a transition shade so with a little blending brush in my crease like blending brushes are like big enough brushes so like they do pick up an okay amount of products 
And even with that, it took me 58 uses to hit pound on that one. So I thought that was pretty interesting. Definitely a uh, hardly pressed matte shade in this palette. And uh, also in this palette, actually, I've hit a few pans now. I've got three pans, like both these matte shades right here and the purple right here. Still trying to hit pan on this one in the panners pan, but uh, hopefully I'll get there soon-ish. And uh, yeah, that one was the one that took me the most uses. So 58 and 14, but on average it's about 30 uses. And I think that most of them were, if I look at my notes indeed, between like 25 to 35 uses. So that sounds about right. But yeah, that is it for this year. Uh, I always love doing this project. I do realize that it's not always as easy to incorporate like doing this one and my Panda palette, but I like both these projects so much that I do not want to like pick one or the other. So it's just going to be a little bit messy for me sometimes. But I still hit eight pans and I hit multiple pans in my Panda palette, of course. So happy enough with the results for this year. I'm going to take a break for about a month. And then in a month from now, you will see my intro for the next one. Somewhere around like the middle towards the end of January, probably. And uh, yeah, that is it for this year. Thank you guys very much for following along. I hope you guys liked watching these updates. And uh, hopefully there will be a lot more pans to be hit in 2022. Thanks for watching once again, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.